today I'm going to be showing you the free built-in tape emulation in Logic Pro 10. So first thing you want to do is open up the mixer here. Um, you can access it either by clicking here or by clicking here. Um, I just clicked here for the purpose of uh, just choosing one or the other. Uh, select under audio effects, go down to uh, delay, select tape delay, stereo. Once you have this open, you want to go over here and turn tempo sync off, change the delay time to zero. Um, adjust the sm uh, smoothing to taste. Um, over here where it says output, you want to bring that up to 100, wet 100, turn dry down. Uh, feedback, you can adjust that to taste. Uh, up here you'll be able to choose the character. So whether you choose for tape head mode, you can choose either clean or diffuse. I like to keep it on clean. You also have options for um, high cut and low cut here. And this right here is gonna be, uh, your clip threshold here is gonna be um, the tape saturation slash, uh, I guess, distortion, I guess you could say. It's gonna give it more of that uh, distorted sort of hot sound. Um, tape saturation really is, is I guess what it would be called. So this is your toggle right here for that. Spread is gonna spread the stereo field out, um, but not necessarily the same as some other plugins. It, it does a, a specific thing. I always keep it at zero because I end up making stuff sound kind of weird if I mess with that. Um, but you can adjust that t to uh, your personal taste. So then down here, modulation, this is where you're gonna really get some of that um, I guess you could say if you use too much of it, it'll get a real lo-fi sound. Um, but so this is kind of a, I usually just start by just bringing these up a little bit and then bringing the intensity up a little bit. And depending on what I'm listening to, um, it'll add some of that um, tape warble and kind of uh, flutter, wow and flutter, I guess would be the proper term for it. It's just gonna give it a little bit more of that analog sound. Um, and I would say you want to kind of use this gradually. Um, if you use too much of it, you'll get some kind of wacky results. And uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how this works. Um, and also worth noting is when you use this plugin, it does cut off um, the high end, even, even if you have this turned all the way up so that you're getting the full range, or at least it looks like you're getting the full frequency range, it softens the overall sound. Um, so if you EQ, your whole thing, if you run your master through this, it's gonna cut off some of that high end. So um, you may need to pull up an EQ and compensate for some of that lost if you're using this plugin. Or maybe you desire the decreased high end for a more warm overall sound. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into this and I'll show you how it works. So first I'm gonna uh, start by bypassing it and then playing the song here. All right, and now we're gonna turn it on. So you can already kind of hear that decrease in the high end. Um, so let's go ahead and play with these uh, flutter and LFO intensity. I'm gonna go ahead and just play it. Um, this has already been mastered, that's why the, the uh, meters here are pretty high going up high um, because yes this is this is already mastered I'm gonna go ahead and test the modulation features down here and uh, let you guys take a listen So as you can hear, that was very intense. Um, let's go ahead and dial it down a little bit. So I, well, first of all, before I continue, the uh, smoothing definitely makes a big difference in how prevalent the um, modulation sound is. 
Um, so you definitely want to play with the smoothing and get it right where both of these, both of the modulation and the smoothing, you want to get it all to a point where it sounds um, wherever you want it to sound. When I saw storm on the horizon, I gathered up some things and hid within the cellar. Now, if you wanted to combine the wet and dry signals, you can also get some uh, different results with that. I'll try out Diffuse so you can hear what that sounds like. When I saw storm on the horizon, I gathered up some things and hid within the cellar. I would say if you're trying to get a more analog sound overall, if you're trying to get a tape sound, tape saturation, tape emulation, and you're using Logic Pro, definitely check this out before you go and spend a bunch of money on plugins. Try out this, this uh, specific plugin, this tape delay plugin, stock Logic Pro plugin, and just see how it works for you. It may not be what you're looking for, but it may be exactly what you're looking for. So. Um, hopefully this video helped if you're looking at getting some more analog vibes into your Logic Pro 10 session. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.